Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here, another car video. Topic of this video is what does it mean when she says she needs a break? And this is obviously a very uh, interesting video topic because it's very common. And um, yeah, a lot of guys need to know what to do. So I'm here to help. But before we get started, I want to uh, remind the people who've been here for a while who enjoy my videos to like if you want to just support the video or wait till later if you actually like the video. But of course, subscribe people who are new and who have been here. Subscribe. Um, so yeah, and hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I make some upload some new videos, make some new videos for you. Excuse me. So now that that's out of the way, let's begin. So what does it mean when she says she needs a break? So like I was saying, this is a very important topic because it's obviously, but obviously it happens very common. It, it happens a lot and it is very common when it comes to uh, dating and obviously it's not a good sign. So these are things you have to understand uh, when she says this, you know, and, um, and they'll kind of tell you how, uh, it, well, no, I'll tell you, but it'll give you an idea how you should respond, what you could potentially do uh, to either move on or um, how to handle when she comes back. So first and foremost, it is obviously a sign of her losing interest in you and really that she has lost interest in you. You know, on a scale of one to 10, she's probably a four, you know, so um, obviously you've done enough things wrong where she wanted to um, not be with you anymore, you know, and um that's just kind of the bottom line, pretty self-explanatory, <laughs> you know, so um, maybe you were complacent, maybe you acted too needy, desperate, beta, weak, um, it could be a whole range of things, you know what I mean, and just the interests dropped, and she wanted to leave, so um yeah, that's just kind of it. The first thing is she lost interest. Um, after that, uh, there could be, you know, someone who she thinks is better and she's looking for them. She could be looking for someone better in shorts. You know, maybe she's got girlfriends, single girlfriends that say, oh, man, you got to get into the single life and you can find somebody better than him, you know, her boyfriend or husband or whatever. And um, she's listened to them and she wants to find somebody better, you know, because she's again, her interest is 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 very low on you and she's lost interest. And she just is tired of you and she wants to find someone better who she feels she has more interest and more attraction for. So she is uh, hoping to, you know, go on a break with you. So if she does find someone better that she doesn't feel guilty or feel like she's cheating. And she could, uh, you know, just... Fulfill that that desire of hers without feeling too guilty, you know, or or feeling like she did something wrong. <sighs> but next, there could be someone else, and she wants to see how things go with them. Maybe she was, quote unquote, talking to somebody while you guys were dating. Or in a relationship or whatever. And now she feels like it's getting more serious. And she wants to pursue thing something with that person. 
again, she could have been just talking, could have been just talking on the phone. She might have never hooked up with that person or kissed that person, but just talked on the phone or they had pretty intense flirting. So with that, you know, she could feel it's 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 going to another level. So she's like, well, she wants to see where it goes with that person. You know what I mean? So um, that's pretty, pretty self-explanatory again. So that way she wants to go on a break with you. So if it does work out, hey, now she's in a, you know, potentially another relationship or um, working towards somebody who she actually has a high attraction for towards another relationship. And of course, if it doesn't work out, then she could always come back to you, <laughs> you know, and depending on how your interest is, you know, you take her or leave her. You know, so um, it's pretty important that um, you understand, you know, um, and it's always easier to say, hey, there's always another guy, you know, so you just kind of take that on the chin and move on. You know, of course, uh, whether you know or you don't know um, about her um uh, her motivations for wanting to leave you gotta always realize you don't want to force anything and give her the space she needs you know what I mean give her the space she needs so that way um you could always let her come back when she when she wants you know what I mean don't force anything because if you try to um, say something, like, oh, I'm going to kill myself, or you're going to try to force her not to leave, even if she decides to stay, your your relationship is going to just get worse. It's not going to get any better. Your relationship will only get worse. She'll resent you. Um, and then maybe she may actually cheat on you. You know? So, um, just out of frustration. Um, or even if you want to abuse her again, you will, and even if she, she may cheat on you, she may resent you. Things just won't be happy. She won't be happy. You won't be happy, you know, so definitely give her the space she needs. Um, don't force her, try to force her to, to stay or guilt trip or anything like that, you know, so that none of that will work. None of that will be good. You know, and of course, um, um, whenever she, you know, tell her, tell her, um, whenever she decides to leave, whenever you decide to come back, cool, do what you thing, do your thing. And whenever you decide to come back, let me know, pick up where we left off or we'll see how it is if you decide to come back whether I want to be with you or not again you know and keep it at that but of course if she does come back that's a big if because you gotta realize she has a mindset of you of being a weak man or a beta man you know or insecure but if she's gone done, you know done having her fun and she decides to come back with you Come back to you um, and with you, I guess. But if she decides to come back, you got to always realize she has to play by your rules now. Because apparently you were playing by her rules before. And she lost respect for you. She lost interest in you. And therefore she decided to leave. So now as she comes back, she has to play by your rules. And of course, if she doesn't, you're going to let her go. You know, maybe she didn't work out before. You know, you're going to get her to work out a little bit. Maybe she didn't like to cook before. You're going to get her to cook. You know, you're not going to go on dates if you don't want to go on dates. Whatever it is you want, you're going to have her do. Or else she will not be in your life. And of course, that is granted. You still have interest in her. You know, if you have no interest, obviously, you're not going to take it back. 
But if you do, she's going to play by your rules. And if she doesn't, she'll kick rocks. So, it's all very simple, all easy, you know what I mean? So, I mean, when a girl decides to unilaterally, as Coach Corey Wayne says, change the terms of your relationship, and she wants to uh, go on a break, say, okay, that's fine. I'll see you when you come back, if I still have interest, and hope you have fun. You know, so, that's all I got for y'all today. Of course, if you liked this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, be notified for whenever I make other videos. Let me know whether you agree, disagree with what I said, or if you have any other um, signs or uh, things that means when she says she wants to go on a break or she needs a break, you know, or tips that we could do, we could use as men uh, when going through this situation. And of course, let me know what other uh, topics you'd like me to talk about. Again, this channel is not just for me, it's for you guys as well. And really, it's only for you guys, because that's the whole reason I'm, I'm making this channel, to help you guys. You know, so, uh, and of course, if you find value in this video, I appreciate donations. I really do, I really do. And of course, any amount counts. Um, but, of course, I will see you guys next week. Y'all stay safe. And always remember... The strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.